Okay, so I'm sorry to let y'all know. Shit getting boring. Shit is getting boring. But look, 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 I'm not giving up on us. I'm not giving up on us. We're gonna just spice the bedroom up, okay? We're gonna spice it up just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Look, keep you interested. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm eating a carrot. My bad. I just, I eat random carrots at random times a day. Okay, I think I figured out what this is. I think it's master root. Because I have master root. I've been trying to get my roots together. And then I got this big ass John the Conqueror. I think that actually I'm going to switch. The John the Conqueror is a very good root. It's, for, it's meant for like willpower, triumph, um, success. John the Conqueror. But it's more of a masculine energy. Matthew, it's in the name. And then, oh, these are really good. All these are really good for, like, willpower. And then this is Tiger's Eye, which is strength, you know. Tiger's Eye, fucking strong as hell. If you want more information, you can always Google it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, I'm doing a different type of uh, reading today. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. And I'm going to use this book. I'm going to show y'all how old my knowledge go back. <laughs> I, that's not when I got it, you know. I wasn't even born. I don't think my mom was even born. But that's how old this book is, 1957. But it's a really good book. And it's on Amazon. Okay? Might not be $8.95. But it might be just $20. And she wrote it. And in this book, it gives you really good meanings of everything. And then my favorite part. Hold on. My favorite part, look, it's falling apart. It's my shit I use all the time. It's, if it's around something, like if it's next to the moon or the high priestess, it gives you a meeting. If it's next to the uh, six of swords, like if I pick that, and then next to it will be the will of fortune, then that would be the meaning. Or in tens, or, you know, before or after this card, that would be the meaning. So we're going to use this book today because I think it's a beneficial book. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's a good book. Okay. Pick the path that best resonates with you. Make sure you got your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. I'm sorry. I know I'm really ghetto with eating this carrot, but y'all want this video or not? <laughs> because if I end up eating and then forgetting, then y'all won't get a video. But multitasking, right? That's right. the start. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Celtic so Cross. What's going to happen the next time? Let's use the regular tarot deck. What's going to happen the next time y'all see each other? Well, no, that's not a good question for a selfie cross, is it? What's happening next in your life? Let's do spirit said, let's do that one. It'd be probably easier. Um, yeah, it's more general. Yeah, I like that. What's happening next in your life? What's happening next in your life? Oh, I think I did this reading, didn't I? I did a major one. Major changes. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Then you got it. You got it. You got it. They cussed me out of my head. You got it. Okay, hold on. Let me shuffle the deck. All right. Trying to cut me up. What's next in your life? We're doing South Street Cross. Remember, remember, remember. Now, oh, damn. I got to tell y'all the positions of what everything means. Oh, we got some. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Now, this is my meaning how I was raised in the tarot community as a little baby tarot reader to a full grown fucking adult now. Look, I'm still, I'm not an elder yet, but I'm an adult, so it's good. <laughs> okay. Um, damn, I forgot. Actually, because, you know, after a while you forget shit. You just go, you know, it's like riding a bike. You can't explain it. You can just do it because, you know, by memory and shit. So, I'm going to give y'all the proper meanings and not teach y'all incorrectly. Ooh, I'm ripping my pages now. You know it's old as hell. Okay. So, to cross. Oh, shit. My book came apart. God damn it. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I can always tape it back up. Okay, so this is how a Celtic cross is supposed to look. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know what that card is for. Probably for clarification. Oh, in this book, it can show you uh, how to determine seasons, too. That should go way more in-depth than that. Where the fuck is it at? Oh, okay. Here it is. Here it is. Come on. 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 Come on
them. I know I'm not missing a page. Oh man. I'm just gonna buy my meaning. Fuck it. I can't we ain't got time. These two cards are like the situations of what's going on, right? This card is past energy. No, this card is like sorry y'all. Hold on. All right, <clears throat> I had to eat that carrot because I was about to choke. <laughs> okay, now I don't know the exact meanings of these three positions. It's something about what the current situation is, but I always wrap these cards up together as one meaning for me. So I don't really separate it. Now, if you want more of a clarification, which I'm trying to find in this book, I should probably pause the video like I did to eat the carrot, but I don't fucking know. Anyways. You know, y'all can always Google it, get more information. But, oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. I knew it was in this book because I read it before in this book. Okay. So, position one is what is covering you. Position two, what is crossing you, good or bad. Position three is the basis of the situation. Position four is what's behind you. Position five, they say it's your crown and what, you, what could come into being. But what I was taught is that this card right here is advice. So I'm already registered in the system of the having that <laughs> as being what it means to me. So that's what it comes out for me, the advice. This card right here is what's before you, the future. Like these cards intertwine for me. Normally it's just one card, but it came out as two. So I always take it as a clarification or extra to the reading. So these two cards normally mean the same. But if you get a clarification, just add it on, you know. That's a little advanced tip. <laughs> This is how you, and for my definition, is different in this book. But this position right here for me is how you feel about yourself. This position right here is how others feel about you. This is your hopes, your dreams, and then that's the outcome. So, honestly, you're about to get into a relationship. How do I tell you? Or you're about to meet someone that you feel connected to. You know what I'm saying? You feel good about. Um, To sum it up, <laughs> that's to pretty much sum it up. But we're going to go more in depth with this. And we're going to start at the lover's card. Now the lover's card. And this tarot deck does not have. I mean and this. Hold on. Let me find a fucking lover's card. Mm -hmm. I need to learn my Roman numerals. How about that? Okay. Cause my book is falling apart already. Two paths, the time for choices, the outcome of which is a vital, important. Resist the temptation to change. Stick to your resolution. Make firm decisions. Is this situation what you really want? Seek spiritual values. Control your emotions. And select your path caref with care. I'm about to say carefully. And then the chariot is remove all obstacles. Then you will have the vision to go ahead. It's something about... Needing to pay attention to your future and being very selective in your choices of your future. Like the chariot card, it says to remove all obstacles. So with love, I guess you need to be very selective and make good choices when it comes to love and remove all obstacles that might get in your way of what love truly is, right? Harness your energy. It must be applied wisely or you will not make your point. You got to be self-disciplined when it comes to love. Start making better choices. I think that's what they're trying to say. But we're going to get to the next card. Oh, that went straight to it, huh? We don't, we don't have... What do we have? Nine of Cups. We don't have the Nine of Cups. We don't have three Sevens. And we don't have an Emperor. So we're just going to go with the main meaning of it. It says... Oh, my God. I don't want to break this book. It says, A cycle of change that will affect your income, growth through good, honest effort. Don't be overly anxious in the process. I'm negotiating, plan your next move to pause this pause and activity and process, making a major decision that will be a welcome change in your financial situation. Patience now a cycle is coming. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um <coughs> Spirit says that you are on the right path when it comes to love. <laughs> to sum it up. Spirit says, don't be anxious. Okay. Growth is coming. Be patient. Be patient in love. Make those good decisions. Have that willpower to make those good choices. Go on the destination or the path that you want to take in love. Because I feel like this is a love reading. And you will get where you need to be. Honestly. It's just a lot about being determined in your mind and making good choices and being 
authentic when it comes to love, being honest with yourself. Stick to your guns and don't be influenced by persuasive talk. You should have learned by past experience to do what you feel is best. You got damn right. Okay, so this right here is like you should have learned from your past. You should have known this is a past card. You, you should know what to do now. So in your past, maybe you were learning how to love, learning what love is, learning what you wanted out of love, making mistakes, your person making mistakes, you know, going through relationships and things not working out the best as you, as you would hoped, or like the situation that you're in with this person, because it might be a Leo Sagittarius Aries that you might be dealing with, or someone who's very passionate about you, or has a, a really big drive in life. Um, <clears throat> you might have learned some, from some situations from your relationship in the past, and now it's time to go into the future and make better decisions so you can have a better outcome, honey. Okay? Okay. I hope y'all like this shit. I mean, it's all about learning. That's what we're here for, right? Uh, We don't have any of these. We're not next to any aces. We don't have three or more court cards. And we're not next to any judgment card. So, the four of swords. The feeling of being cut off and out of touch. Take time and think of new plans. It's all about you planning for your future. Be prepared. Things are changing. Make plans now. You fucking right. You fucking right. I get that. Give yourself time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The shadows over your life is slowly. Oh, this is nice. All right. <laughs> so it's pretty much saying like your word of advice is to like step, step back for a second. You have this. You have this strong ass energy of you needing to make the right choices and lead the path you want to lead in life. So they're saying your advice is to be prepared, be prepared. Like we're trying to tell you to be strategic. And the advice that we have for you is to be prepared that things are changing and you need to start making your plans now. Not not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, but now if you want love now, you have to be prepared to make certain decisions, sacrifices, choices, positive choices. You have to get your mind thinking positive. You got to get your words being positive. You got to get those those people around you that are haters out your life, but the ones that love you and want to support you, you got to tell them your visions and get them on board because when two or more come together, baby, they say that God's in your presence, but I always think God's in my presence, you know. But that's what they say, and I think it's very powerful. Okay. I don't know why I keep on putting fucking carrots in my mouth. I'm hungry. Okay, hang on. Uh, piercing. Uh, piercing. What is in my book? It's old. Piercing the barriers of limit consciousness and. Okay, it says, don't be misled. There is plenty of action behind the apparent standstill. Be prepared for new innovative ideas. It could be a complete and unexpected change, right? Bless with, bless with the truth and has no fear. Piercing the barriers of limit consciousness. <laughs> Spirit says that you're going to be very wise when it comes to love. If you do the things we're talking about today, get yourself a parent. Focus on that mental. Focus on healing that trauma, that repressed emotion. Let's focus on yourself, right? Make good choices. Listen to your wisdom. Listen to those past experiences. Stop making those same dating patterns. And then don't fear the future. <laughs> Spirit says just because things ain't moving away, you feel like they moving. They moving. They are 100% moving. And what's coming up to you is going to be completely... Expect it because you're working at it, right? The book is blurry as fuck. <laughs> Spirit says that you're going to be in the energy of ready to be ready. It says the pussycat is now ready to roar like a lion. You're going <coughs> to. Okay, I'm done. I'm not eating no more. Hold on. You're going to be. And this in, in this uh, vision of um, being very clear about your future. I'm sorry, y'all. I was hungry. I had to get something. I've been eating terrible for the last couple of days. 
Okay. I'm not, um, should I do that? Let's see if it's anything around it. Next to the lovers. Okay. Finally got something. Next to the lovers. Misunderstanding is causing unhappiness and could lead to a breakup in a relationship. So maybe in this relationship with you and this person, y'all had some type of... And you got the four of swords too. Looks like a serious dispute. Um, um, Y'all had an argument. The spirit says that it was a misunderstanding and it probably led to you guys separating. Hmm. Don't be sad. That's how you feel right now? Is that what happened? Okay, let's see if the Six of Swords... No, the Six of Swords has nothing. Okay. It says it's an indication of... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, surveillance of a relationship, peace of mind, harmony would be yours. Like, sunshine, unpleasant or frustration and work, possibility of a long journey, difficult cycle ending, allow it to phase out, set your sights on the future. It looks good. So, you're feeling like a misunderstanding or argument broke up a relationship or some type of whatever separates you two. And now, the way people are looking at you is that they see you moving forward and trying to find happiness. Okay. All right. Uh, what are we next to? We are next to the hangman, and we do have a five of cups. I mean, five of um pinnacles. Uh, next to the hangman, don't show impatience. Wait for the situation to materialize. Confusion, you're shattering your energies. If you have lost something, it will be found when you settle down. Y'all, y'all reconsoling. Don't be anxious about it, y'all. Y'all, you want to reconcile, and you're probably very because that's your hopes and your dreams. It's to reconcile, but spirit sense make sure that you are having patience and not uh trying to push things along or trying to control the situation and then you're not around the tower the high priestess or the sun so it is saying a beautiful start to a new romance or a friendship understanding deep friendship or love between a man and a woman or a woman and a woman or a man and man you know whatever you like Together, they can achieve their plans. <laughs> Expect a surprise, a letter, gift, flowers, or a joyous event. Kindness and thoughts, full, uh, thoughtfulness, blindness too hard. Mm. Good solid ideas. Y'all gonna talk again. Y'all gonna get back. Y'all gonna reconcile. And then let's see what type of man you're dealing with. Old man or woman. So you have that too. Uh, likelihood of unexpected money, excellent leader qualities, which should be channeled in the right direction. Take your time in an upcoming argument before making a final decision. A man secure in business or profession, strong, generous, and can be impulsive. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, okay, let's sum it up. Pay attention to dating patterns because Spirit says that if you keep making the same mistakes, it's the definition of insanity. Why do that, right? Learn from your past mistakes. Take time out for yourself to get your mind together. Take that time out for yourself to get your mind together. Some type of misunderstanding, but y'all gonna get back together. That makes sense. So let me know what y'all think about this type of new reading. If it if it's good or not, if y'all like it, let me know. If y'all don't like it, then I won't do it again. But I think you got more of a definition of me skimming through the cards because... Baby, I know these cards so well. It's like I can tell you one word and be knowing the reading and feel like I know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> I, I, I hopefully this was better. So, if this makes any type of sense to y'all, please let me know. And I'll talk to y'all the next one. Okay, baby. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, position one. The Knight of Swords. This is the position of what covers you. So it's the vibration surrounding the Christian. The Christian. <laughs> A Christian must be talking about me. Conditions. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a joke. Um, The vibration surrounding the condition are revealed, right? The Five of Cups is what crosses it, good or bad. The Three of Cups is the um, basis of the situation, the origin of what you might be looking for, maybe... What's next in your life is some type of new passion. Uh, maybe sex. Um, 
what's behind you, your past, your advice, your future, which goes with these. For me, these two are intertwined. Um, this is how you feel about yourself. This is how people view you. And this is your hopes and your dreams. Okay. So, like I was telling about a... Ooh, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I got a crook in my neck. Like I was telling pal A, that we're going to go through this book. Now, this book, I've had... Look, let me show you how old it is. Come on. It's on Amazon, if y'all curious. That's the author. That's the name. Look, 1957. Now, I wasn't born... <laughs> I don't even think my mama was here. So, but, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's a very old book, but it's an oldie but a goodie. And if you're interested in it, it has a lot of good information in it. And, you know, those old books know a lot. So, you can definitely Google this on Amazon. I might even put the link in there for you, too. Oh, okay. It's a court card. The Knight of Swords starting off the Knight of Swords. Oh, and then this book also has different type of things, which I'm going to show y'all. Let me get to it. Okay, the Knight of Swords. Um, this young man has good intentions, but his attitude can be overbearing. Someone that is a young man, you can expect to feel strength of this young man. Which will help considerably. You are going through a difficult period. Check the spread for more details. Someone favors you and will defend you and promote good vibrations. I love that. Good vibrations. The five of cups. Yes. Okay. Now, what I'm looking for in these is like the back page behind it. It has like... If it's around three of wands plus the will of fortune, if it has the judgment of the star card or next to the devil, do we have any of these? Three wands plus the will of fortune, no. The judgment of the star, no. And the devil card, no. Okay, so we're going to go to the front. Okay. Marriage or relationship appearing to break up, breaking up at the midway point. Take stock of things before making another decision. Check spread very carefully. Could indicate a loss of a loved one. Ooh, we're not going to do that one. The damage has been done. No use of crying over spilled milk. You find in a difficult to explain turmoil. You feel inside. Deep sorrow. Take a while to pleasure. So what happened with this person? Um, it's seeming like your current situation is like some type of loss or sadness maybe something in your life that was dramatically pushed to you maybe a person said something to you maybe a person did something to you maybe the situation like it was a situation where it created some type of regret sadness sorrow maybe you broke up with someone the damage has been done. No use of crying over spilled milk. The Ace of Wands. I'm sorry. This might take a little little minute. Just stay with me. We learned it today. Just stay with me. <laughs> okay. The Ace of Wands. Now, let's see if it's by anything. Oh, uh, the tower. Yes, we have the tower card. Pinnacles or cups on the spread. No, it's not all the pinnacles or cups. Okay. But it's next to the tower card. Unable to make ideas or project materialize. Frustration and tired through effort. What is going on? What is going on? Hold on. Hold on. I'm not done. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Excuse my language, y'all. I'm trying my best to stop cursing, but I got it in me. The Four of Pentacles, the Fool card, no hang. Okay, none of that. So let's see. What was your past? Strong characteristics. You're stable and preparing for your future. So something happened. Not receiving much monetary gain at this time because you're learning. Dedication to your personal goal. It seems far off, but you should prove. 
Study and learn. Okay. Persistent learning entry. Okay, so it seems like something happened. <laughs> something happened where uh, maybe you were pushed into a certain something, certain something. Why well, I can't talk? Pushed into some type of situation. Girl, use your words. And maybe in the past you were learning you were trying to make some type of effort and then things just did not pan out the way you hoped them to be hmm. let's see what your word of advice is is it by the nine of cups the empress or the three of Okay, it's about a nine of cups. No, the three sevens and a Celtic. No, Empress. No, okay, so let's just see what it says then. Uh, a cycle that will affect you is coming for the better. Uh, be patient now, a new cycle is coming soon. Your life will be rearranged, grow through good, honest effort and hard work, and keep going. Don't be overly anxious in the process. Okay. I'm not sure about what we're talking about, so I'm just going to ask if it's love, if it's just life, or is it financial? You know, I <laughs> love. Mm, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think, Spirit. Okay. It is passion, clarity. You're looking for where you need to go. Some type of new exciting adventure, something in your life you're looking forward to going. And you probably don't have all the information that you need to. Maybe you're in the decision of trying to make choices. But you need to be a leader in your life and take that first step. Use your psychic intuition, your knowledge to help guide you and don't have fear. Relax. Okay. So it's just, it's life. Okay. All right. I like that. Um, Spirit says that a, cycle's, a new cycle is coming and prepare for change. Keep going. So if... You've been making some type of effort in your life and you can't see things going or you can't see things moving. Spirit says don't let that stop you because you need to keep going. A cycle is coming just because you can't see your efforts doesn't mean your efforts are not seen by God or your ancestors or angels or whomever you believe in. Um, It's not next to Empress or Emperor. We did see the Emperor though. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go with the Emperor. Opportunities are... Um, here, establish yourself and set ideas into motion. Like I said before, I, I feel like if you just keep going, and then we did see the Seven of Swords. Unnecessary disturbance over insignificant situations. Sort out any problems. A sign of achievement in business or plans, goals attained and work success. Cor courage now brings happiness. Tremendous ability and foresight. Future looks good. Preserve, have courage, and you will succeed. With correct negotiations, there will be a possible business or a partnership. Important contracts, letters, or trans transactions. Business success, enterprise. Um, indicated foundations laid. Uh, opportunities are imminent okay so pretty much um what i'm getting so far is that something happened maybe somebody said something to you or maybe an event in your life happened that was kind of unexpected and probably kind of knocked you off and created some type of sadness regret like you weren't doing what you needed to do spirit says that you, in the past you put forth this effort towards this goal and maybe you just feel like goddamn ain't shit happening but spirit says like don't be in the energy just keep dedicating yourself to your future because with hard work and good planning you're going to get to where you need to be. So don't lose faith on your dreams. Right? A five of cups, how you feel, you just probably don't feel like you are getting to where you need to be. The, the three of wands, I mean, the three of pentacles, which is this one. People see you as being someone who has their shit together. That's how, and as I read the Celtic Cross, this is my understanding of the Celtic Cross. I don't wish to change my understanding because I've learned it for a long time and it works for me. So if you have another definition of what it means, you can look, put it down below. It might help somebody else, but <coughs> this is how I've been doing it for years <coughs> and how I was taught. Okay, the Tower card. Let's do the Tower card. Unexpected opportunities. 
which is the tower card for me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hurry up. Oh. Here it is, the tower. Okay, take a good longing look at your situation. Situation will change rapidly and be prepared. Change is enough. Oh, you want it to happen quickly. You want some new type of change in your life. You want karma to be on your side. Change is inevitable. Karmic forces will cause a breakdown in relationships, business, finances, or any situation you consider permanent. Release the old way of life rather than eliminate the past. Accept the change and plans for future. Clinging on to the old goal will prevent you from accepting new and wonderful opportunities in the future. So, you want this situation to change rapidly. You want some type of breakdown of what's going now, right now, so that it can be a good change for your future. I understand that. What's this Eight of Swords energy? I don't like the Eight of Swords to see that as an outcome. It's very much a, a, a card of obsession. Overthinking. You can't be in your head and creating goals. You got to take action. Uh, let's see. Are we around anything? No. No sun, no hangman, and no swords. Just That's the only sword. Okay. Unable to make any decisions. You feel very restricted. Have experienced hurt or anxiety. Your vision is blocked with fear. Someone is considered both hurt and confused. Unable to think clearly. You need help in this sensible Insensible advice, continual worry can cause sickness. Take time to seek help. Please get out your mind, honey. Uh, I know I hated seeing that. Okay. But the good thing about the Celtic Cross is that these two are intertwined with me. So I feel like something happened in your life that probably disturbed your vision of a goal. Spirit says don't let that shit, you know, disturb you. Don't stop before you reach gold. Just because you hit a rock does not mean that you can't get a tool out and use something to break up that rock so you can keep on going on your path. There's no such thing as obstacles. There's no such thing. You can never tell me that I am blocked from the things that I want. Unless God tells me I'm blocked and that I don't need it, then I believe him. But ain't nothing in my life blocked. Everything that I want is coming towards me. If it's not a, win it's not a door open, God will open up a window. So you have to realize just because in the past you felt like you've done everything you could do and it did not work out the way you hoped does not mean your future won't be different. Spirit says that with hard work, dedication, and planning, you will get to where you need to be. Get out of that energy of obsession because how you see yourself is not how other people see you. Success will come. Change will come. Your future is going to be what you want it to be, but you can't be in the energy of feeling frightened or having anxiety because it didn't work out in the past. You know how many times it takes to make a successful business? Your first business, for some people, it will be amazing. But nine times out of ten, your first business is going to fail. It's not until you hit your third business. <laughs> Your first time hitting a goal, you might get what you want, but I can guarantee you that second, that third, especially if you keep on hitting those milestones, everything is going to get better with time. Take time. Please take time. Don't feel so restricted. Don't feel so uh, afraid. Don't be afraid. Scared money don't make money. How do I tell you? Scared money do not make money. Hold on, I don't want y'all to see my dirty things. I'll be looking at my phone. <laughs> Trying to be professional. Okay. It says it's a symbol of uniqueness and... <sighs> People, <laughs> Spirit says that now is the time to be innovative. Yeah, be innovative. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Be innovative and be unique. Because the people that's around you are going to admire your gifts. It says people around you will look up to you and as, a, as an example of what it means to be a great person. It says it's an invitation for you to use your creative power both artistically and non-artistic ways. So, <laughs> hmm. I be so frustrated when I be trying to express how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sense of spirit says that you're not doing this just for you you're not accomplishing these gifts just for you 
You're accomplishing these gifts for your children. You're accomplishing these, these gifts for your family. For strangers, you don't even know. People are going to look up to you. So why the... F Imagine if Martin Luther King would have gave up. <laughs> Imagine if Obama would have been like, nah, I don't feel like being president. Imagine, imagine the world on how it would be if your parents was like, I don't feel like having kids right now. Imagine it. So if they would have given up on the things, you wouldn't be here. We, I mean, I'm pretty sure we would have came. It would have been another leader. But he ain't nothing like Martin Luther King. He a celebrity for a reason. <laughs> people love him for a reason. And like people are going to love you. So you can't give up on your gifts. Imagine if, um, I don't even know who made the Mona Lisa. Don't judge me. I don't care that much to learn. Uh, <laughs> but imagine if they didn't make the Mona Lisa, right? A lot of people wouldn't have had that, that artwork. Imagine if, uh, what is his name? Leo. I don't even, I'm about to make myself sound stupid. But imagine the artwork not being here. The, all of the past artwork. Imagine if the people that made the Bible, because honestly, I don't know who wrote the Bible. But <laughs> imagine if they didn't write the Bible. Because it was just like, ah, I don't feel like it. All my past work didn't work out for me. So now, I, you know, I don't feel like writing the Bible. I don't feel like doing this. You know how many people was affected by the Bible every day? I say Psalms 23 every day. Imagine if I couldn't say that. So, like, don't give up because you're meant to be more than who you are. And people are going to look up to you and be guided by you. Why the fuck would you give up? Don't do that. Please don't do that. You have people looking up to you. They're inspired by you. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on those people. Even though me personally, and I shouldn't tell y'all this, and I'm not going to tell y'all this because the spirit told me to shut up. But be blessed and not stressed, okay? That's the perfect way to end this. Be blessed and not stressed. All right, I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Hi, my pal. See beautiful people, right? Okay, we're doing something different. We're spicing it up because I become bored in the bedroom and... I don't want to give up on us. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to spice it up. <laughs> I.e. I wanted to use a book. I wanted to use this book. I like it. Um, This is the author. The name of the book is on Amazon. I'm going to put the link down below because I feel like y'all deserve that. You know, why, why work hard? Be the empress. Have things come to you. I got you. Okay? Like, I'm going to give you a little bit of worship today. A little bit of love. So, I think I know what this reading is already saying, but in this book, it has so much of, um, it has really good, it's really good with helping determine things, the definition of things. Okay, y'all gonna see what I'm saying after I start. Okay, so this card, uh, for me, these three cards mean the same thing for me. Um, and then these cards, this is a clarification, these two cards mean the same for me. Okay, and this is a 10 card Celtic spread. So... For this first position is what covers you. The second position is what crosses you, good or bad. This position is the basis of your situation. This is your past. This is your advice. My opinion, how I was taught. This is an advice card. Um, this right here is a future card. And how I was taught and how I learned is that these two cards is pretty much both of them mean present. I mean, um, future energy. My bad. Uh... This right here, future energy, this is how you see yourself. This is how other people see you. This is your hopes, your dreams, and then outcome. And then this is a clarification because I didn't like that card. So, and we don't put cards back. We just, we got to keep them. It's just a way to cook it, crumbles. But let's get started. Let's get started. <clears throat> I got a lot of energy this morning. <laughs> okay. He who confirms and... Which is for truth. A nice person in a lot of ways, but stubborn, solid organization established. Someone who prefers to belong for the sake of belonging. Outside appearances are important, likes to impress. Not open to any changes. It's a, it's a stubborn person. Uh, let's see the star card. I'm thinking it's love, though. I see. Him. We got the sun card. We got the star card. Okay. The star card. This. Beautiful symbol. It's one of people's favorites. One of mine's. <laughs> that in the sun card. One of my favorites. Um, it's a beautiful symbol of an indication that the future accomplishment of goals. Why did my mind just blink out? What, what y'all want to tell me? Uh, 
oh okay i pulled some extra cards but they weren't Celtic cards so they're down here and it made me direct my thoughts to um this card i guess the these two cards mean the same thing in this reading because my mind blanked and then directed me to that so i'm assuming it says that the future accomplishments of goal presently brings develop you are blessed and you can accept a lot of spiritual help and guidance on the right path foundations are good keep your eye on the star you will achieve goals health situation will improve strong spiritual forces surrounding you and i guess that's the reason why they directed me to this card because it says fresh ideas manifest growth plant your seeds be hopeful whatever you are going through right now if that is like a commitment of a love affair a new person coming to your life being excited about the future still be hopeful Okay, Spirit says that you're in the energy of creating things, so be fertile, fertile in a, a positive way, right? But you fertile in a positive way. Oh, baby, if you understand what that really truly means to be fertile in a positive way, everything that you create will be positive because you're the creator and you're positive, right? Can mean news of a birth or a wonderful idea, plan, or program. Some of you guys might be giving birth to a baby girl or a baby boy because the Page of Cups. Definitely means children. Be ready to start some type of new project. Important messages are arriving. Young person who offers help and cooperation. A gentle and quiet person. A gentle soul. Love and happiness. I do believe y'all yeah, might be getting into a relationship anyways. But, so it's saying, in the past that you might have had, uh, breaking up with people or maybe some type of goal did not happen the way you want it to happen. Maybe you were unsure about your future. Maybe finances wasn't all that good. Maybe you were looking for something and it wasn't looking for you. You know, that happens as well. Um, but Spirit says your advice is that you are now at a crossroad. Oh, I can't talk today. The decisions that you make can be important and think carefully past mistakes could be your best lesson that past mistake could be your best lesson look before you leap any discretions at this time can spoil everything this best <laughs> the best swimmers in life must know the depth before he makes his dive you are at a crossroad and you need to make positive decisions so i feel like Spirit is just saying, like, you need to learn from your past mistakes and look before you leap, even though the full card is all about not looking before you leap, but just having a leap of faith that everything will go well. But because you had this past mistake, Spirit says, just make sure that when you are leaping, have faith that all will be well. But also make good decisions in that leap. Does that make sense? Make good decisions, be wise, and don't make the same mistakes. It's, it's not hard, but it is hard. <laughs> Okay, oh, the seven of swords is next to the full card. You are too changeable. You need to be more positive. Oh, yeah, okay. You are too uh, changeable, flipping, and inconsistent, and you need to be more positive. Mm, be more positive. Things might not be working out the way you hoped and planned, but be positive. You might even feel like you're going through some type of bad luck. Now, that could be, what is, is it a net in my house? Oh, Lord, we about to kill it. Okay, look, you know not to come back over here. Anyways, um, Spirit says to be positive, be changeable, be consistent in your dreams, be open. Um, the way you see yourself is someone that gets probably very passionate about a project, but then halfway or before you finish, you lose that inspiration. The sun card, we're going to go with, we're going to go with the definition though. The sun card is about being happy. So people see you as someone who's happy, someone who, actually we can go to the sun card right here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay. Regardless of present circumstances, when the vibration of sense, when the vibrant symbol is the outcome of the spread, that will be joy and happiness in your future. 
many blessings at this time. So people see you as being successful. People see you as being successful. I like that. This book is falling apart. <laughs> Expect someone to be present in thoughts or ideas pertaining to a business, which will be adventurous to start or finish of an important situation, journey by water. So what is it talking about? A young man that can create vibrations that will change for sudden decisions or change in your life. Also positive change in residence. Some of you guys might be moving. I never look at this card as a moving card. Hmm. Anyways, <clears throat> so for this one, it says that it's something about you completing. Oh, okay. So this is not about love. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. It took a look. It took me a little time, but you know, eventually you're going to get it. Four of Cups, the last one. Because I was like, what is this? Hmm. The Hierophant. Being kind of stubborn. Are you stubborn? Because I said it twice that you're pretty stubborn. Don't be stubborn, baby. Don't be stubborn. You can't allow things to move in your life if you feel like you know everything. Look, that's a personal lesson, okay? Take my lessons and so you don't have to learn them. Okay. And the last card. I hope y'all like these type of readings. Um, It just gives you a different perspective. Um, Helps you learn some things. At least it helped me to learn some things. Uh, we don't have the Wheel of Fortune, Hangman, or the Hermit. Um, discontentment, boredom, could care less what really happens, no motivation, too much of a good thing. Life is too easy, just make effort. Emotional, introverted, looking for spiritual levels of satisfaction. No one seems to understand. Could be partly in the offering that will help bring back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Now. And then the Ace of Wands, we should look that one up too. I feel like what it's trying to say is that whatever you are going after, whatever this goal, this inspiration, this leap of faith that they're telling you to take, do not be stubborn in life. Please don't be stubborn in life. Because I don't believe that there's such thing as blockages in my life, personally, because ain't no fucking thing in my way if I want something, okay? But I'm positive and I'm optimistic. And life is good for me. Life is good. I don't know what God do for you and your household, but over here, he blessing me every day. So I understand what it means not to be stubborn and resentful and to feel like, you know, you have to take control of your life, which you do. But sometimes, like, things like this, you got to be optimistic. It says fresh new ideas. You're going to manifest things. But even this card down here is saying, like, you need to kind of, like, take time for yourself and heal because it says whatever memory that you have of the past or attachment you need to loosen your hold and relax and unwind and release fear spirit says that don't be so focused about what people see you or how people think of you be focused about the things that you want to go after because it's saying that you're going to lead yourself to being bored bored and not optimistic about things so if you start off right now as being happy and ready to plant seeds and ready to grow and not having fear that whatever you go after won't happen, it won't. <laughs> if you don't have faith in yourself, why would somebody else have faith in you? If God sees you not believing in your goals, he's going to be like, I don't know why he or she is doing this, but oh, if that's what they believe, okay. So it's just throughout the whole reading I was getting is that just be positive and make things happen for yourself. Be happy for your future. Spirit said that clarification. That, uh, yeah, it's not around none of those. But the clear, the card that I got to clarify is the Ace of Wands. And it's so perfect because it says new things are starting. Beginning of something new. Maybe a job, career, or a way of life. A possible birth in a family or someone close to you. Um, and messages, um, active, starting a business or a social affair. So to sum this reading up, and I'm just going to make it plain and clear for you. Whatever you're going after, you can have it. But don't live in the energy of being stubborn or unwilling to change or needing to know everything because you don't know shit. I'm going to be honest. At least I had to learn that lesson. 
Like, I am someone who thinks, I, I know a lot. I, I do know a lot, but I don't know everything. And I had to get humbled <laughs> by that fact that I don't know everything. So just allow God to move you. Maybe you're starting something new and spiritual and you're just like, I don't know where I need to be. Pray and ask for guidance. Spirit says that you're in the energy of being fertile. Manifest it. Create what you need. Tell God this is what you want and then go after that. Spirit says that you're going to have passions in your life. You just need to look for them. Don't be bored by the opportunities that's around you. Be very clear about what you want. And don't be stubborn. Be positive. Okay? So I hope this makes any type of sense. This is my first time doing something like this. And I really like how it turned out. Let me know if y'all liked how it turned out. And um, I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one.